The first Night Cube map was announced in August 2016. It featured artwork that tied in with the new Night Cube branding. The map itself is of a slightly different size to the normal map. It was only three pages rather than four of the previous. The cover has a blue header with the Night Cube logo, then the artwork, but it still had a white footer like the standard map with the Mayor of London logo and the Transport for London logo with the roundel. The inside of the map featured the two lines of the night you've operated, the entirety of the Victoria and the central between Ian Broadway and Hainault or Loughton. It was slightly different from the standard map because it showed the other lines that were going to be added to the network in light grey. The background of the map was also a dark blue rather than the white and grey of the standard map. The second map is very similar to the first and was quietly introduced at the start of the Jubilee line night tube. It was also hard to spot because the artwork was very similar but had a blue tint and the person had been changed to face a different way. This new map has the Jubilee line added all the way from Stanwell to Stratford. Apart from that, there were no other changes to this map. The third night tube map was where the map started to line up more with the standard map. The map joined the Art on the Underground series, and this is the first time that a Night Tube map was released at the same time as a standard map. There were two new lines added, the Piccadilly between Cockfoss and Heathrow, and the Northern between Morden and High Barnet, or Edgware, via Charing Cross. On this map, there were no more greyed out lines, as the five lines that had been set up for Night Tube were all operational by now. Lancaster Gate Station was also closed with an expected opening date of August 2017. One small change is that the station that is in the queue for the station in both fare zones has been changed from North Acton to Manor House. The May 2017 map was also released at the same time as the standard map. It was just an incremental update to tell users about station information. Lancaster Gate was also reopened on this map but still has a dagger with extra information in the check before you travel information. The January 2018 Night Tube map was the first map to have a cover design change. It dropped the white footer bar in favour of a footer matching the artwork background. The map is notable for having the first section of the London Overground to the Night Tube network, part of the East London line between Dalston Junction and New Cross Gate. However, Whitechapel was not served. At this time, TfL released an information leaflet about the new night London Overground service. The leaflet TfL released for the start of the night London Overground service had a message from the Mayor of London about the night Overground service, some information about the fares for the service, and there was also a large map of the London Overground night service and then information about nightlife that could be accessed on the London Overground. The reverse has a message from TfL about the night Overground service. The May 2018 Night Tube map features a dark blue footer with the same information as the last. The map also added the East London Line section of the Overground from Dawson Junction to Highbury and Islington. At the same time, TfL released an updated leaflet on the night Overground service. The new leaflet is very similar to the last one. The message from the Mayor of London and the fares information are identical. The enlarged map is the same, but showing the extension to the line and its new connection to the Victoria. The information about the nightlife has also been updated to show new places that can be visited between Dalston Junction and Highbury and Islington. The reverse also has an updated message from TfL about the extended service. The most recent tube map is just another incremental update with new cover art. However, Whitechapel also gained night overground service on this night tube map. There are not likely to be any more large changes to the night tube map until there is another line added to the network. It has been said that the Waterloo City and Bakerloo lines will likely be joining the night tube service when they've been resignalled and there have always been plans to add some of the subsurface lines to the Night Tube network.